Get some of the stuff out of the way. Today on Stuff Reviews, we're going to look at this Adventure Force Remote Control Boat. It's very tiny and works well in a small bathtub. It costs around $15 Canadian. Low propeller here, very little tiny propeller, very. Adventure Force also makes these remote control cars. Back in 1990, I had this remote control firefighter boat. There'll be a video in the description for that. So I gotta go in, in the bathtub here. It has a sensor on the bottom. Didn't say anything about that in the manual. And then you gotta turn on the remote and let it pair. It'll sense once the it's on the man. I mean, it's a great bathtub size remote control boat. And to charge, you take the controller. Yeah, I'm pull pull this thing. You'll get this little thing here. This will only fit in one way, the right way. It's the uh, on button, and it's probably fully charged. And you just stayed red until the light goes off, and then once the light goes off, you know it's charged. This is fully charged now, but when it's charging, it'll be fully uh, fully. Uh, It'll blink red for a little while until it's uh, fully charged. With the boat, what happens is if you can see this little uh, sensor here at the bottom that will sense that it is in the water, that is how you'll turn it on. So you actually do have to have it in the water for it to work. And then you take the controller, first you have to put batteries in. If you do need to charge it, you can uh, unplug the this wire here and uh, plug it in. You don't want to do that with the water. Dry it all off first. So the controller, you just turn it on, you hold it, there, there, just press it once. It's doing donuts here in the, in the water. So you just press the button uh, when you're done and it will turn off and you can just put it away. It takes four AA batteries, you charge it with the batteries on the controller which tends to be with a lot of these smaller remote control things. It says that it's waterproof. I would say it's more, probably more water resistant. If you're gonna take this thing underwater, you're asking for problems. If you get splashed on, I like the membrane uh, control here. At least if it gets splashed on, it's going to not be ruined. There's some of the stuff out of the way. 